this is beyond a joke now. It is so cold. I would never have believed it could be that cold in Gran Canaria. The wind is absolutely howling. It's freezing, it's raining, and it's just been non-stop the whole time. in Gran Canaria for the second time we're going to do the Trans Gran Canaria it's a bit different this year we're finishing in a different place so it's slightly shorter that's not going to make it any easier the weather is supposed to be a little bit gnarly on the top today so we'll see what happens it's going to start in about 10 minutes that's 11 p.m. and we'll get down to Mas Palomas hopefully around midnight tomorrow night the first day station 19 kilometers in 107 kilometers to the end that's how far we are in about 18 and a half kilometers 19 kilometers a long way to go yet
Okay, just coming to A station number two, four hours, 45 minutes. We're about 19 and a half miles, 31 kilometers. So I very quickly had some Coca-Cola. I've got a piece of banana to eat. I grabbed a couple of crisps, shoved them down my throat, got my water bottles filled and got out in about three minutes. It's about nearly five o'clock in the morning, uh, nearly four o'clock in the morning. Um, course four, ten to four, something like that. So we've got 83, 84 kilometres to go. We've gone uh, all the way up here where the red is to there. We've gone all the way to there to go. <laughs> Still an awful lot to do. Uh, so this is uh, Fontanales aid station. Um, it's hard work because it's been raining. It's very, very muddy indeed. Uh, so it, that's slowing us down a lot. just after 7 a.m. about 10 past 7 in the morning it's wet it's cold it's windy this is not what you expect from Gran Canaria it's a big advantage for us over the Canarians that is true the <laughs> Spanish the Spanish don't like this weather at all I mean it's it's a tough one for us but you know at least we're used to it very muddy and very dodgy but what a beautiful valley this is this I remember this valley from last time uh, when I came down it almost in the dark um, uh, but we're now coming down it in the light and it's absolutely beautiful Seventy-three or so to go. Nine hours, fifty-three minutes. Just crossing that dam there. Still raining, still blowy, and no sign of the sunshine. I hope my wife and the kids are getting on a little better. Okay, we are at Artanara aid station. Um, this is about 66, 67 kilometers into the race. So we're, we're over halfway, but this is beyond a joke now. It is so cold. I would never have believed it could be that cold in Gran Canaria. The wind is absolutely howling. It's freezing, it's raining, and it's just been nonstop the whole time since since we started climbing back up again there's plenty of people here who've decided that's that's just that's it oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> there, there are plenty of people here who've decided that is it they've had enough they're not carrying on um i'm gonna see if i can make it any further i'm, I'm not afraid to pull it if it gets ridiculous but um this kind gentleman what's your name john John has lent me his gloves. If they fit me, I'll put them on. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll try and get a little bit further. Okay. North side, over there. 
still horrendously windy, rainy, cloudy. South side, over there, occasionally we feel the sun touching our legs and like just the hint that better weather is on the way. Still climbing, still about 55, 56 kilometers to go. And it's about 13 hours, 45 minutes into the race. So we've actually got some sunshine, although there is still drizzle in the air. <laughs> I've uh, come down off the mountain into Tejeda, where there is an aid station. So I've just had some crisps, uh, some chocolate biscuits. Um, legs are feeling pretty wrecked, I have to say. Well ahead of cutoff, by the way, but um, I'm. I was hoping to do 24 hours for this race and that is gradually slipping away as my legs feel more and more tired and I'm less able to run down the hills. Now, uphill is, well in fact uphill and downhill are a nightmare because of the mud. Although it may clear up um, in terms of weather, the mud on the ground is just horrendous now. So once again, back up in the clouds after another six, seven hundred metre climb. But the weather is a bit better. It's still horrible over that way, but we're protected at the moment. And it's definitely brightening up down on the, uh, the lower levels. So we're at Garanon. 43 kilometers till we finish. We've got a couple of little ups. Um, there's a very steep downhill coming up as well. Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> What's your na name? Saida. No. Saida, thank you, Saida. Okay. Let's go. Okay, this is a bit more like it. Running across another dam with a marathon to go, 42 kilometres. There it is, that's what we're on our way to see. Another 250 meters of climbing. I will get this finished. I am suffering now. How about that, eh? This is what we should have been seeing all day. So, the valleys. Come, come, come. The mountains over to the sea. And over in the distance there, that is Tenerife, that is Teed. Mount Teed is the highest mountain in Spain, 3,500 metres tall. Absolutely beautiful view down there in the valley as well. That's what we should have had all day. Not that wind and rain.
Gracias. So we've made it to the final aid station. So from here, 14 kilometers left. Up the side of the mountain over there. Yo, dos naranjas y un plátano, por favor. absolutely stunning but it, it's quite technical and you've got to watch your footing so you can see the route that the runners are taking and we literally snake all the way down the mountain so it now feels like we're running through the jungle <laughs> doesn't actually get to experience any of the views that we've been seeing. Well, I have no idea how I finished this. This is, that's, that's been really hard work. Look, the family have come out to see me. Hello, thank you for staying. I'm sorry I'm so late. So that is Trans Gran Canaria finished for another year. Hardest, hardest race. Okay, that is it for uh, Trans Gran Canaria 2022. I'm not saying anything else. Join me for another film by run, another adventure, another ultra next time. Take care. Bye bye.